What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the Silvermont architecture and part of the Bayrail family of power efficient processors. It has two cores with no hyper threading of course and it has a burst frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics Bayrail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a burst frequency of up to 792 MHz in the Celeron's case. It's also based on the same Ivy Bridge architecture as the Intel HD 4000, weirdly enough. We also have 4 GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500 GB hard drive for the operating system and a 1 TB external one on which the game that we will be playing today is installed. As for operating system we are using normal Windows 10 as mom also uses the PC. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we will be benchmarking today is Mortal Kombat XL. Now I remember several people requested this game back in the older days and I really wanted to make a video on this game. But when I tested the game off camera, I faced constant crashing issues, which ultimately made me reluctant on making a video on the game. But I'm still going to try to benchmark it, so let's get straight to the point now. Also, I'm going to be using the memory reduct app just in case, and I'm going to be fighting in the training room map, as it's by far the most lightweight map of the game. Well, that was one wonderful slow motion. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to 800 by 600.
Um, guys, um, I think the game crashed. See, this is the reason why why I didn't bother testing Mortal Kombat XL in the past. It's those crashing issues. This is the reason why. Oh well. Let's try again. Such bitterness and hate. I infringe upon your territory. I will show you its power. Well, let's hope it doesn't crash after like 30 seconds. Because I really want to get some benchmark figures at least. I wanted, to, I wanted to not crash for at least two, for at least after two minutes, please. I thought it crashed. Oh well, it crashed once again. Yeah, I think my point has been proven. This game does not work properly on the Ezio HD Graphics page rail, for some weird reason. Having crashing issues which prevent me from playing a fight for more than 3 fucking minutes. I even tried lowering the resolution from 800 by 600 in the config file, but regardless of what I did, in full screen mode with the lower desktop resolution window borderless trick, setting the config file to read only, absolutely nothing works. It would just stick to 800 by 600 regardless of what I did. So yeah, it's kinda sad that we can't get Mortal Kombat XL to work properly, but in the next video I'm going to try Mortal Kombat 9 instead. Hopefully that one won't have crashing issues, hehehe. <laughs> Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my attempt at making Mortal Kombat XL run on my old Celeron laptop, and until the Mortal Kombat 9 video, it's a bye bye for me.